Here are the horoscopes for the week of the 28th of December 2015 to the 3rd of January 2016. With Uranus recently turned direct at the weekend, and that will last right through until the end of July, we actually have all the planets direct at the moment. So Uranus teaches us how to think independently, how to challenge the status quo, how to challenge the system, how to see what isn't working correctly, what no longer serves us, and what simply isn't true. And to come up with new ideas, new inspiration, to envisage a new future. So since last summer we've had Uranus retrograde, where we've had this period where we can go back and establish what is actually true to us, rather than repeating what we've been told, or what's always been said and done. So there's a level of bravery, rebelliousness, there's a sense of humour with this, just to not always take everything on face value, but to actually go in, do some research and have a look at what is real and what is going to really establish new connections in the future because Uranus is like the neurons firing in the brain. We can think differently. We just get into habits of thinking in the same way. So now Uranus is turning direct. This will be a slow reversal but we get to put into action some of the things that we've learnt over the last five months and to actually be more independent and to be more knowledgeable and to be more truthful and have firmer foundations and create new pathways to think differently and create a new vision of the future. Although this is normally a good time to set intentions after the winter solstice, which is actually the new year of sorts, we have got the moon in its waning phase and we are approaching a Mercury retrograde. So what this is showing us is to hold true to that inner spark, the inner truth, and just to nurture that in ourselves rather than necessarily feeling like we have to actively spring forward and create things in the outside realm but much more to nurture that inner fire because on Monday we have a passing grand trine in fire signs so the moon in Leo will be making a positive aspect to Saturn in Sagittarius and Uranus freshly direct in Aries. So this creates a grand trine or a big triangle across the zodiac in fire so there's this flame, there's this core truth that doesn't require action but is something that we can meditate upon and nurture, especially on Monday, with that aspect. Fire is our passion and our will. It's what we actually are animated by. So we can take a look at what fires us up, what actually gives us the will and the drive in life, and we can reconnect with those aspects of ourself without actually the need to do anything on Monday and Tuesday. On Wednesday, Venus goes into Sagittarius, so we have more direct motion. Venus has been in Scorpio for the last few weeks and now moves into Sagittarius, once again a fire sign. So Venus being our heart and our values and Sagittarius being old, wise fire, we have the opportunity there again to really kindle that inner flame, that hearth fire, and to stoke those flames so that when we do step forwards, we're actually coming from a place of true inner worth, but also, like I say, just by attending to that fire, those vibrations will already be going out and um, creating their own invisible action. So a lovely opportunity for the next few weeks with Venus in Sagittarius to hold close what really is important, that heart spark, that passion, that creativity, and to enjoy that warmth to enjoy that creativity and to just honour and cherish that part of ourselves. By the end of the week we have Mars moving into Scorpio and this will be for a long time because we're heading towards a Mars retrograde. So for the next half of the year Mars will be moving through Scorpio into Sagittarius, back through Scorpio and then forwards again. So that takes us all the way through to July. So Mars is another fiery aspect, whereas Venus is our heart and our values, Mars is where we take our soul force energy, our sun energy, and direct it, if you look at the symbol. So we have now that inner fire kindled, and for the next six months that will be going forwards and backwards through Scorpio to show our deeper motivations. Where's that coming from? What are the fundamental fears or beliefs or motivations that are inside of us that are creating our 
actions and therefore creating what happens in the outside world so heading towards a very long time for Mars to be in and out of Scorpio we get to learn about the deep side of ourselves where we're creating from but also very much Scorpio is a tough one it teaches us to go and look at the shadow the inner the repressed and bring things to light so a very fiery aspect not necessarily very active but lots of examples here about what we hold inside, what actually is that active force and how that goes out and creates for us. But how if we actually tend to the original flame, then everything else will fall into more of an alignment or a coherence. Like I say, we have all the planets going direct at the moment, but we're heading towards a Mercury retrograde. So Mercury will be turning retrograde on the 5th. So this is in the very first degrees of Aquarius and going back through Capricorn. So a Mercury retrograde phase lasts about a month to six weeks and I will be posting the dates up for this. But just to know, once again, this isn't a great time to kind of be pushing forwards with new resolutions, but better to have a look at maybe, well maybe we could write some resolutions and see how they change as this Mercury goes backwards through Capricorn. Maybe we go back and visit what we're really standing on and for. Mercury is the processing mind and Capricorn is the mountain or the foundations or the roots underneath us, our backbone, our structure and our direction which we build upon slowly. So with Mercury retrograding in Capricorn in January, maybe if we write some intentions now, we can then do that with a vision of going back and seeing, would that be what we want? Would that be supportive? Is it underpinning or undermining us? So we're about to head on another Mercury retrograde journey, but this can always be worked with in a three-phase process, direct, retro, and then direct again. So by the middle of February, we should be out of the woods and we'll possibly be a lot more aware of what we're building on and what will actually support us and sustain us. So we can take that long journey, but when we end up at the destination, it's somewhere that we actually wanted to be rather than somewhere that we thought we wanted to be a while back and is no longer really relevant or worth the effort. So with Uranus Direct, we're thinking in new ways. We're creating and envisaging a new future with all the fiery activity, the Grand Trine on Monday, Venus into Sagittarius and Mars activated later in the week in Scorpio. We're told to go and find that fire, what really does motivate us and is there any fear or repression or negativity, manipulation in there and can we clear that, purge that, burn that so that what's coming from our heart, the actual passion and direction in life can actually then be put to constructing something creative and warm and heartfelt and meaningful. And with the Mercury retrograde coming up, we get a chance to challenge more of our thinking, more of our fundamental beliefs to make sure that we're actually supporting ourselves and not working out of obligation or duty or responsibility to something that isn't ours or to a plan that we started a long time ago and that we wouldn't actually get any benefit from if it came to fruition. So quite a complex week, but very much all happening on the inside. And this week we have what they call the new year, which is when we change from 2015 to 2016. It's not really a zodiac alignment other than the fact that we align with the Earth, the Sun and Sirius. So this is actually a time to be very quiet and meditative. It's not really a time to be running out and to have further celebrations. The celebrations are over in the old calendar after the winter solstice feast and now's the time to withdraw and to bring in that stamina and that determination and that discipline. So if anybody doesn't feel like celebrating New Year's Eve on Thursday then it's actually a great time to be still. It's not really the New Year so we can take that pressure off. So there's a chance here to tune into intuition, to the messages that come through in the quiet to listen and to align on a very inner level. This will help with the Grand Trine and Fire, this will help with all that fire activity to listen, to be able to make that fine tuning to what really is important and where we're guiding ourselves and to reconnect with and maintain that centre point of still calm knowing. 
So a lovely opportunity there on Thursday for anybody that doesn't feel too active and outward and external and celebratory. A lovely time to just be still and to pick up some messages and to tune in to the other side of ourselves so that we get to recalibrate that inward passion and steer ourselves from a place of purity and simplicity and joy. So to sum up, all direct motion, lots of changes going on under the scenes, no need to act, no need to force anything to happen, but a wonderful week just to connect with that inner spark, to nourish it, to nurture it, and to know that that radiating out, once purified and aligned, will be the very thing that is the basis of what we're creating as we step into 2016. So those are the horoscopes for this week and I'll see you next week. If anybody would like to take a look at 2016 then I will be happy to give readings to take a look at the year ahead to help find that truth, that alignment, that simplicity and see where the energies are for you personally so that you can engage with your own astrology in the coming year. It's a great time as well while we're in the winter, while we're pulling back, while we're being more internal. It's a great time to start a new course of study while the sun is in Capricorn. So I have all of my courses, which are online, video and notes and email access, available across the world. And I also have an online group where we're studying what's going on on a weekly basis and how you can apply it to your own chart and learn astrology in a friendly small group as it happens. So please do contact me if you'd be interested in a reading or one of my courses or joining my group. As the sun climbs the mountain of Capricorn, we can apply ourselves to climbing a mountain, to be disciplined, to put something into practice that will serve us and take a journey that's substantial and nourishing and that we can learn from and apply for greater mastery of our chart and of the use of our energies in the coming year. So for any of this, please do contact me, zoehind7 at gmail.com.